This is one of the most important and historic speeches by an American president in our history. And yet, there are people on the left, the far left in the United States, who have been good critics of bad American policies, but have also been far too negative, far too hateful, and far too conspiratorial. And they too need to shift. They need to join the rest of us who focused on the notion of positive diplomacy, positive peace building, critiques that focus on policy rather than demonization of people on the other side. It is demonization that is the enemy. But the truth is, this was a political speech to the Arab Sunni Islamic world. This was an effort to pull back from what clearly had been a war, start, especially with 9-11, but many other things the United States did in the Arab Islamic world. And this was pulling back from that. It was a plea to the Sunni Islamic world to change course in the relationship without saying that it was against Saudi or it was against Iran. They were, he was focusing on building the relationship, which strategically and politically is a brilliant maneuver challenging Khamenei, the head of Iran, to say to him, if you want to demonize us, you're going to have a formidable foe in me. As never before, we have an American president that so understands the rest of the world because he's a part of it and because he has studied that he has addressed every single one of the issues that have been the basis for the beginnings and the dangers of a war of civilizations. And he's completely upended it. He knows that Israelis need to shift. He knows that Palestinians need to shift. He knows that people on the ground in Iraq need to come to a certain kind of consensus of where that country is going. But he also was calling upon America to shift. 